Say cheese. Cameras are cool, but cameras that you can program to do what you want are even cooler. And that's one of the nice features of the Raspberry Pi camera. So here's all you need to know about Raspberry Pi cameras. Get alerts when new Raspberry Pi tidbits are ready for your consumption by subscribing and ringing that notification bell. One of the great features of the Raspberry Pi is the fact that you can get a separate camera module made specifically for it. And while you could just plug in a USB webcam and call it a day, the Pi camera has a specialized camera connection that allows for higher resolutions, faster processing, and the ability to manipulate what the camera sees with code. Let's begin this deep dive by looking at the different types of cameras available for the Pi. Officially, you have the original Pi camera, the 2016 version 2 upgrade, and the 2020 high quality camera. I'll do a more in-depth video on that one later. There's also several different variations of these, such as a spy camera and a night vision camera. No matter what your need is, there's probably a camera for it. Instead of USB, connecting a Pi camera to the Pi uses a ribbon cable. For everything except the Pi Zero, it uses a ribbon cable like this and it plugs into a serial port on the Pi labeled camera. Not to be confused with this similar display port for screens. Make sure the tape side of the cable faces the latch side of the port. For the Pi Zero, the cable is slightly different because the port is smaller. So make sure you have the right cable for the right Pi, and then connect it the same way. The cameras aren't hot swappable, meaning that in order for it to recognize the camera, it has to be plugged in before the Pi is powered on. When your Pi boots up to the desktop, you will need to enable the camera, so go to the Menu, Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration, and then click on the Interfaces tab and enable the camera interface. Once you click OK, you'll need to reboot your Pi and the camera will be enabled. The easiest way to get started using the camera is from the command line. Baked into the Pi. <laughs> oh, baked into the Pi. Oh, me are two programs, one called Raspy Still for photos and the other called Raspy Vid for videos. To take a picture, type Raspy Still, set the output switch, a save location, and the name including the .jpg extension and then hit enter. After a preview pause, you should see a full resolution photo in your specified location. And you can use the width and height switches to adjust the photo size and then run it again to get a different sized photo. And you can find a ton more command line options on the official documentation page such as high dynamic range, flipping the image, image filters, and filter colors. You can also capture video with your Pi camera by using the raspy vid command along with an output switch, the save location, the name of the file that you want to save it as with the .h264 extension. And then you can also put in a time limit switch that is in milliseconds. So for instance, this is going to be a five second video. And this is what it looks like. The files can be played using the pre-installed VLC media player. By default, the resolution is 1920 by 1080, but again, you can use command line switches, which you can find at this page, to customize the output. So this is gonna be a recording at 1080 by 720 at 90 frames per second. If you're not a fan of the command line and you want a graphical user interface, you can clone the Pi Camera app from GitHub and then navigate to the source directory within it and use Python to run it. This app lets you do live previews as well as tweak a lot of the different settings and add filters and everything that you can do with the command line. Another great feature of the Pi Camera is how easy it is to script into the Python programming language. For instance, let's create a photo taking program and call it photo.py on our desktop. Start by importing the required Pi Camera and Sleep libraries and then make a Pi Camera variable. To take a picture, what we can do is start the camera preview, pause for 5 seconds and then save the image to the desktop and then finally end the camera preview. Now save this and run it using Python 3 and you should see the file appear on your desktop. That's how easy it is. So next let's create a program for doing this for videos. Let's just copy our photo script and rename it as video.py. 
remove the references to taking a picture and then add a start recording command and the save location above the sleep command and then a stop recording command after the sleep command. This will create a recording for five seconds and then save it to your desktop. Now let's save this and run it and after about five seconds, you should see the file on your desktop. So there you have the very basic overview of how to get started using the Raspberry Pi camera. And there's a lot more cool things that you can do with the Pi camera that I've already covered or will cover in future videos. What's your favorite use of the Pi camera? Just let me know in the comments below. You can click here to watch more videos like this and please be sure to support me by liking, subscribing, and sharing with all your friends. Until next time, keep tinkering.